This is Surfing Through Cinema. I'm your host, Hawaii Harry. Today, I will be discussing the next film for Streaming Through Cinema Week. This episode is all about the 2004 sports drama, Million Dollar Baby. Okay, so some technical details about Million Dollar Baby. This film was shot in less than 40 days and on a $30 million budget. In returns, it made $216 million, so they they ended up gaining more money than they had spent. So this was a major success for Warner Brothers and for Clint Eastwood. Hilary Swank gained 20 pounds of muscle in preparation for her role, and she trained for five hours a day for the months leading up to shooting. Yeah, like it was a very intensive workout. The film received seven Oscar nominations at the 2005 Academy Awards and it won four of them, including Best Picture. All right, so now we'll get into the plot. A 31-year-old named Maggie, she goes to a boxing gym to learn how to box. After much persistence, she gets trained by Frankie Dunn, who's played by Clint Eastwood. She proves to be a great boxer and ends up fighting for the welterweight championship for women. She gets punched, however, after the bell rings and her stool is in the way as she's falling back and she breaks her neck and becomes a paraplegic. And after a couple weeks, um, she finally asks <clears throat> Frankie to cut off her life support so that she wouldn't have to endure this pain anymore and he was very reluctant, but eventually he comes around and he does eventually assist her in ending her life. And after he does this, he leaves and is never seen again within that community in Los Angeles. And yeah, that's the plot. That's a <laughs> pretty crazy thing. Um, I'd never seen it before, so I had no idea what to expect and what I was getting myself into. Um, I did know, sadly, I did know the ending because that scene with her falling onto the stool is very common knowledge amongst the film community. So that part I did know. So unfortunately, I was just waiting for it to happen. And my gosh, it was, it was really sad. <laughs> you know, kind of going into it, I thought it was going to be like, like a feminist Rocky movie, but really it wasn't. It was more of a really heartfelt down-to-earth type of story, which I guess kind of like the original Rocky, and it didn't feel, it didn't feel, um, it didn't feel like they were trying to make that type of message at all, so I actually really enjoyed it. This is one of the, it's one of the Clint Eastwood movies I actually enjoy. Honestly, I, I loved how simplistic the plot was. It was pretty structural, you know, had a beginning, middle, and end, and Nothing crazy, nothing new to offer, but you really were connected to the characters, and I gotta say, I loved the writing for it. I think it was very well done and very um, thought out and very, very nice to relate to. Well, that's the plot. I'm going to go on a break real quick, but first, here's a message from our sponsor. This podcast is brought to you by Anchor. If you haven't heard about Anchor, it's the easiest way to make a podcast. Here's how. It's totally free. There are tools that allow you to record and edit your podcast from your computer and even your cell phone. But that's not all. Anchor distributes your podcast for you so it can be heard on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and many, many more. You can even make money from your podcast with no minimum listenership. Anchor is everything you need to make a complete podcast all in one small place. So go on and download the Anchor app or go to anchor.fm to get started today. Okay, so we're back from our break. Now I'm going to get into some critical reviews and my personal reviews on Million Dollar Baby. On IMDb, it's in the top 250 films list, and it's number 209. And it has a very high rating on there as well. It has an 8.2 out of 10. So that's, that's really high, for, especially for IMDb. AFI says about Million Dollar Baby, the film fight finds its power in its lean frame. So they're referring to how the structure and the plot is actually really simple 
and not overly complicated like you would see in modern day superhero movie. You know, there's not tons of effects, there's not tons of crazy dialogue, it's just simple and to the point. And like they say, it really does find its power within the simplicity of its plot. <clears throat> and then the LA Times says it does the expected and the unexpected within the movie. And that is totally true. Like, if I didn't know that she was going to break her neck, I, uh, I would not have seen it coming. You know, the whole time you're just rooting and hoping Maggie, um, Hillary Swank's character does end up becoming a champion. You're hoping that she finally has, you know, something to live for in her life because she had a crazy, crazy family dynamic. She was dirt poor. Um, you were really wanting her to win. She's the underdog. And for a while, it seems like that is what's going to happen, that she's going to be like this great champion at the end of the movie, kind of like in the first Rocky movie. But then it totally takes a turn when she breaks her neck and you realize, wow, like <laughs> the world really can be cruel sometimes. <laughs> you know, it's not always going to be the, what we expect. And I think that was a pretty brave approach that they took with the movie because a lot of storylines, you know, you could kind of predict what's going to happen. And I'm sure a lot of people going in thought, yeah, this is just going to be the stereotypical underdog story. She's going to be a champion, but no, she doesn't end up with that. It's crazy. Very good storyline. I, I commend them for doing that. Now I'll get into my personal views on Million Dollar Baby. The fighting choreography was insane. It looked so real. Like every punch looked like a real punch, you know, and the blood and everything. It was very realistic. And, you know, unlike the Rocky movies, like number four, it's not super cheesy with its blood. Like, it's, it seems painful. Like, her nose ends up getting broken and they have to try and fix it while, while she's sitting there. And it's, it could be pretty hard to watch. <laughs> you know, and it felt very realistic. And I'm sure... A majority of the development and thinking for the movie was in that part. And it, it really shows. They really put a lot of effort into it. And I really like what they did. And um, I love the relationship between Maggie and Frankie. You know, at first he wants nothing to do with her. But then he eventually, you know, agrees to train her. And he agrees to, to befriend her, really. And, and it really you can really see a difference between the beginning of the movie and the end, how Frankie is now. He's still tough, but he also is kind of soft now. He's not as reserved and not as cut off as he used to be before. So I think they did a well, great job with that dynamic. And they, they totally deserve the Oscars that they got for it. You know, despite how depressing it is, I really liked the ending, you know. It, it kind of felt more realistic, like life doesn't always turn out the way we expect it to. And um, it was kind of a refresher, you know. I haven't seen too many sports movies, mainly the Rocky ones. And it could kind of get a little repetitive and boring knowing that the hero is going to be fine at the end of it. And he's going to beat the guy at the last second. So it was... It was wonderful and interesting to see how that wasn't the case with the last with the last one in particular. Um, she seemed, <clears throat> one little critical review you have, she seemed a little too overpowered. Um, Hilary Swank's character, like she was always beating people up and... I mean, they did say it was like a year and a half or whatever, but I don't know. I felt like it was a little, a little too overpowered. I think she should have struggled a little bit more, but maybe it was to build up for that final, <clears throat> for that final round, that for that final match, that she didn't completely win. So maybe that's why. Um, anything else? Well, that's pretty much all my thoughts and feelings about Million Dollar Baby. Um, 
I highly recommend it. It's definitely one of the better Clint Eastwood movies. Um, and if you're into sports dramas, it's it's a good one. You know, like I said, great choreography between the boxers, and the characters are really really good to connect with too, and you really feel for them. So I, I highly recommend it. It definitely deserved Best Picture for that year. Next time, I'll discuss the next film for Classic Hollywood Week. And this is a film that stars a lot of Hollywood's biggest stars. With Cary Grant, Jimmy Stewart, and Katherine Hepburn. This story follows Hepburn's character, whose wedding plans are complicated when her ex-husband, played by Cary Grant, um, and a tabloid magazine journalist, played by Jimmy Stewart, come in and mess with her life. And uh, <clears throat> it's one of the most classic comedy movies and it's something I've personally never seen before so I look forward to watching it. And so until next time, this has been Surfing Through Cinema with Hawaii Harry. Take care. Thank you for listening to Surfing Through Cinema. Make sure to check us out on Facebook at Surfing Through Cinema with Hawaii Harry and on Instagram with Surfing Through Cinema. We also have a website, www.anchor.fm forward slash Surfing Through Cinema, where you can learn more details on upcoming episodes and on past episodes.